Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and we're going to go into the next part of my of the uh, Minecraft playthrough um, don't have a plan um, this time, well other than I'm going to go get some iron um, there's plenty of mountains around the village so that should be a good place to start and there's a little cave area at the mouth like a cave mouth that I saw um, before so I'm gonna go try there and hopefully um, I won't have to go too far in because I'm not at full mob fighting capacity yet So there it is, there's the cave, and there are pumpkins. Um, bit of an unpleasant with pumpkins. But, yeah, pumpkins. Um, in we go. That music really helps. Uh, there's a little bit of light. I probably should have made some torches actually. That would have been a good idea. Still. Oh, plenty of coal. I'll get some of that coal. You can always use coal. And I can trade it as well, so. I'm surprised I haven't seen any mobs because it's pitch black. Get this coal. Uh, maybe not go further down. I want to try and stay as close to the surface as I can really, but I can't see any iron around. Oh, what the hell. I'll be a big boy. A little bit further down, there's iron. Find iron. Quite a nice big vein of iron as well, actually. I think that's it. I'm gonna just have a, a bit of a dig around, a bit of a poke around, see if there's any more. I can't see any in the on the surface wall. Have a bit of a dig. I might find a bit more around this area. I think that might be it. I haven't seen any more and I don't want to go any further down um, into the cave just yet. I'll come back later to it though and go cave diving. No, no, 
no more. Uh, I'll go back to the surface, back to the village, smelt down this iron and build myself some new weapons at least. I do need some armor though. Ah, light. Daylight. And quick run back to the village. Now just in case you are wondering, I'm not going to be spending all my time at the village, I am going to um, go out a bit further at some point and go and explore. I may even find another village to live in. So I'll do everything I need to do from this one first. It's, like I said, it was quite a... I need to find this furnace now. I don't know, I can't remember where I put it. I think it's this one. Yep, there it is. I'm going to smoke down this iron. I'm going to dump in this chest anything I don't need at the minute. But I'll find a use for it later. Everything in Minecraft has a use. Tidy up my inventory a little bit. There. Okay, so the iron is almost done. Eight ingots. And now I am going to jog over to. Oh, town meeting. Town meeting. Oh, two of the villagers are getting it on. I thought you had to use potatoes. Apparently they do it themselves. Hello you, I will find you a job for when you grow up. So I am going to make myself a sword. And a pickaxe. Let's move them down there because I'm going to use my sword and my stone stuff first and then I'll use my iron stuff. Okay, that's done. It's starting to get dark, the mobs will be out soon. Um, I'm going to do some fishing at some point. Because you actually level up pretty quickly when you fish. And you can get some good stuff in my other world. I actually fished enough enchanted stuff out of the water to make a flaming a flaming infinity ball and a flaming sword. So at some point I'll get the opportunity to do that again. That looks like a good place to fish. Uh, the mobs are going to be out very soon, so I'm going to go do some more stabby stabby. Uh, I want the wolf for that sh from that sheep. I'm trying to get the achievement for having 16 colours of wool. So I'm going to shear all the sheep of the sea. Uh, the creepers just spotted me, so I'm gonna have to put him down. 
And if you're new to Minecraft, don't stand too close to a creeper because they blow up. So if you're attacking them, it's better to have a jab. Step back, go back in for a jab, and just do that until it's down, basically. When it starts flashing white like that, it means it's getting ready to explode. So don't stand too close. Although, you can use it to your advantage. If you've got a group of mobs, you can actually use the creeper to uh, make them all go boom. Hello, Mr. Drowned. Now I am going to go and clean up this town. And fight off these mobs. There goes my sword. Time to switch to my stone one. I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to run around and see if there are any mobs lurking around it's the village is pretty well lit actually so I might not get many oh, uh, there's one over there we have a peeping tom hey peeping tom Back away from the window. Apologies to anyone watching, Cold Tom. Oh, I got the stone sword. Now I'm gonna have to switch to the iron. Oh, a drone joining the party. Hello. You're down, and you're down, Mr. Spider. I thought spiders hated water. Oh, an Enderman, an Enderman. The Golem's taking on the Enderman. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh, never mind. I thought if I could take a swipe at him, then I'd get the XP for, for him dying, but never mind. Again, if you're a newbie to, to uh, Minecraft, if you're not quite ready to take on mobs straight away, never look an Enderman in the eyes. You can be stood right next to him and he won't attack you. If you look him in the face, he doesn't like it. So if you're ready to attack him, look at him, stay him right in the eyes. I do find that it's always better to attack an enderman with a sword because they can teleport. So, you, if you if you've got a bow and arrow, if you prefer to use a bow and arrow, by the time you've got your shot ready, and two skeletons. This might be stupid. This might be stupid. Yeah, I have no armor. Yeah, I need food because. Can't take many two more. I can't take too many more hits like that because I'm gonna die. Skeletons are ranged villain, ranged mobs, so they can kill you before you get to them. I should not have. I should have taken more care then. But anyway. Mops. Ah, oh, can't use that boy. If I use that boy, it's going to die. I need to 
There's a skillet in the water over there. Yeah, I need to fix up this bowl. Oh, I've got another one banging on the door. Till later, go and get a wolf from this sheep. See, multitasking, mob killing, and sheep shearing. And I'm going to put a fish in. I'm going to make myself a fishing rod. And I am going to go fish. And if nothing else, I'll have plenty of fish. Um, I'm not sure there's a fisherman in the village, but um, uh, you level up fishermen to a point they start taking fish off you. So if you go fishing and you get you happen to catch loads and loads of fish, oh, there's an enderman over there! Don't look at him! Don't look at him! Um, then yeah, you can just basically offload your fish collection onto the fisherman. Um, for emeralds. So fishing at first does take some time because you're waiting. You have to wait for the bite. And here comes the daylight. Now apparently if you're fishing at night, the best time to fish is the night because you get more things. But if you fish um, in direct moonlight, you get more stuff. You get cooler stuff. The same with the sun. If you're fishing in the day and you fish in direct sunlight, you actually get better stuff. So I can at least go and cook this fish when I'm done. This is not a good spot to fish in, I find nothing other than fish. Oh, let me give that up for now. Hello, what have you got? Did you try nothing? Uh, I guess I'll take some orange dye.
join and have orange wool. Uh, I have no plan at the minute. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. I don't know what I want to do. Well, I'm going to cook this fish actually. And I'm going to go place this wool. With the other pile that I started. Mm. Maybe I didn't start one. I thought I'd started a pile. Okay. No, I started a pile. Let's see how this fish is getting on. I keep walking into the wrong door, through the wrong door. And get this cod cooked, get the salmon on. Everyone's gathering again. There are so many without jobs. I can find you all jobs. It'll take me a while, but I'll find you all jobs. And I'm gonna go and have a look. Over this way. Oh, there's a cave mouth up here, so I'm going to go and have a look in there as well. So you can find some more iron. That's kind of going to be my quest. 
for quite a bit, it's just to find iron. So that I can build more weapons, build myself some armor. Where did that cave mouth go? There it is. Oh, iron. I found more iron. Uh, only a little bit though. Gonna go a little bit further in. Another dark spot. Again, gotta be careful that mobs don't spawn. And there's the ominous music again. It's a cause a little nook in the cave wall. Um, I could be a hermit and live here. Take a flower so I can dye some wool. And eat because I keep forgetting to. And it's the same night right, nighttime routine. Return to the village, kill mobs. At some point I should probably sleep. I haven't slept for a couple of days. And if you don't sleep in Minecraft for three days, you get attacked by things in the sky called phantoms. They are killable, but they just respawn. I, think I started off with like three before in the sky, and I've killed them, and then it's like five spawn in the sky. So, um, the game basically forces you to sleep. Unless you live. Like underground. Stick all this stuff in this chest. Again, anything I don't need. Uh, I need that. Take my iron. Uh, need the wool. Shut the door. And where's it gone? There it is. I leave a pumpkin outside to mark the door with a crafting table with, and I forget where I left the pumpkin. Okay, so. Make some red dye. 
and some light grey dye and some yellow dye. And then make the wool. Huh. Hey, where'd my red dye go? My red wool. Huh. Shut the door. Huh. Don't shut the doors, mobs will attack and you'll get dead. Yes. I did make some red wool, it's disappeared. There's the red dye. There's the red wool. But now the yellow wool's gone. Okay, I'm going to put these down first, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to give me red and yellow together, so I'm going to put these down, and then I'm going to go make the yellow wool. There. Yellow wool. And some more bone meal. And some white dye. Just in case. You have to actually make white wool. For the achievement to trigger. I'm good, I'm good, right. Okay. No, the yellow wool's gone again. Well, it's gone now to make some more. Come on, skeleton in the water, you're gonna just stay there? And I am um, nope, no point going to sleep now, it's daylight. I have nothing to put in the furnace. Uh, you appear to be in my way. Huh? 
Okay, I've already got white grey dye. I've already got white grey wool. And white wool. So, that flower's pretty useless actually. Uh, oh, fisherman. There's a fisherman. I do have a fisherman. What do I want to do? Eat. That's what I want to do. I want to eat. I think Do a quick look in this chest. Gonna need another chest, I think, as well. I filled this one. <clears throat> And that is it. Um, so, this is it for now. This is the end of the. Oh, nitwit, nitwit, nitwit. Kill him, kill him, kill him. The nitwits, the green ones, are completely useless. So you can kill them. They don't serve any purpose in the village. You can't give them a job or anything. Um, back to what I was saying. I think that's it for now. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be back very, very soon for part three. So stay tuned. Um, I do stream regularly on Twitch as well. I stream Minecraft on Twitch. Um, if you want to hop over to Twitch, my handle is silentrunner underscore 54. But from me for now, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Um, I have content coming quite regularly. Um, I've got a series coming up for Star Wars Day for May the 4th. It will be a playthrough of Star Wars Republic Commando. Um, so, and I've got to, um, currently uploading Minecraft Legends and Disney Speed Snow videos. But for now, I take my leave and I shall see you for the next one.